All right, so this is a damage report on Cerebus. So I tried to put in the guys that do usually the most damage here. So we got Voodoo Dolls and Peltast, um, Frost Archers and uh, Taurus Witchers. And then we got some uh, Ghost Assassins in there also. So what I found out is the, like the Peltast, the Frost Archers, and the Taurus Witchers all seem to do about the same, it seems like. So, actually, the, um, So in the back row here, the Taurus Witchers, a couple more at 200,000, 220, 156. So not great there, but another one was at 360. So if we look at the time, how long they lived, I guess those ones got taken out. Obviously the ones that lived longer did the most damage. So if you look at the uh, range versus melee, the range tends to stay alive longer, and that's why I like in this in Cerebus the the range a little better. Because if you look at all the uh, melee, they pretty much all died at fifty five seconds in. So the Voodoo Dolls can do a lot of damage at that point, but I think the amount of time that the uh, the range can stay alive, they can out damage them. So the highest Voodoo Doll was. 300,000 there. I have four four pilgrims and a couple brawlers up there to help keep them alive, but they all seem to die on that last stomp there or whatever. No matter what. Um, so I think over time, if you can keep your range alive, it's going to wind up doing more damage possibly on average if you look at the Peltas in the in the right side here um, out of the four three did over 300,000 damage so that seems to be the Peltas actually seem to be most consistent damage so um, although they were in the corner And they didn't last as long as some of the other guys, but they still did more damage. So over here we have 288 Frost Archer, 288 Witchcraft Totem. And let's see who did the minute. 262 Peltas. So who did the most damage there of, the, of these of these guys right here in the uh, sixth column. So that's weird. All right, we get that. So in the back right hand side here, you got two witchcraft totems. I mean Taurus Witchers. One does three hundred sixty thousand. The other is two hundred seventy. But yet the one that did more damage lived less time, which doesn't really make sense, does it? And then you have two frost archers. They both lived the same amount of time, the 288's on the right hand side there. And one wound up doing almost 100,000 more damage, so... It's not like there are multiple targets here, so I'm not sure why that would there would be a discrepancy there at all. It's kind of weird. So, I don't even know if this is conclusive or not, this is just... Yeah, that's weird. Because they don't get stunned or anything in reverse to Cerebus, so I don't know why the one that... They're both level 9s, they both do this, they're shooting the same target. I don't know why the one that lasted... That one would have 100,000 less damage. And then the Taurus, which are one that didn't... That lasted... Did the most damage pretty much of all died you know 20 seconds earlier so 
I like the new uh, layout here with all the different stats, but uh, as far as it really being nailing down, like, man, what's the best troop to have versus Cerebus, I'd have to, I don't know. Maybe it'd take multiple different tests or whatever, but I'm leaning towards um, if you can keep them alive, you know, I would go all Peltas, then I would take Taurus Witchers, but it looks like my Frosties actually did better damage than the Taurus Witchers, but there's Taurus Witchers are supposed to be better. And yeah, so well, hope that helps. I know you guys have all this information available now anyways, but um, I thought I'd throw that out there, like what are, seem to be the best damage troops for Cerebus. And looks right now, uh, Peltas, Taurus Witchers, Frost Archers, and Voodoo Dolls. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.